Hi everyone, welcome to Draftscapes, I'm Chris Tuccio. In this episode, we cover this, everything you want to know about how to use the adjustable triangle. Stick around. Hi everyone, so an adjustable triangle actually isn't something that you often see on Landscape Architects drafting boards anymore, and it's, it's a real shame, you know, it's a really versatile tool that typically has more architectural purposes than landscape design purposes, but it actually is a protractor and a, and a landscape triangle or drafting triangle all rolled up into one. It's a variety of different things that you can do with it, and so it just takes some practice to understand what those things are. Just like if you were to learn how to use scales, an architects or an engineer scale, the pro tractor element and the slope calculations that you can do using an adjustable triangle are really quite versatile and you know you can use it quite a lot in drafting landscape design plans, sections, and elevations. So let's get started and go through all the different options for an adjustable triangle and how you can use it for your landscape designs. Okay everyone, so uh, here I have uh, my adjustable triangle along with a couple uh, just normal triangles to show you uh, a comparison between them. Um, and so basically uh, the adjustable triangle as you see here, um, it's uh, also sometimes called a set square, um, but you can see uh, it has a few elements on it. The first is it comes as a standard uh, in its sort of uh, traditional conventional uh, position as a 45, 45, 90. So you have the 90 degree angle here, 45 and 45. So it can work just as a standard triangle um, if you want it to. But then it also comes with this sort of adjustable knob and this line or gauge, uh, it's a red line that you see here, that can allow you to adjust the angle uh, to get a number of different other types of triangles and angles from it. So uh, right next to it I have uh, just a standard 90, 30, 60 triangle. And so if I wanted to make this into the same type of triangle here, so here I have my 90 degree angle and here I have uh, my 60 degree angle, I could simply take my adjustable triangle, uh, loosen uh, the nut, and then simply uh, move it into the position so that it's a 30-60. So right now I'm on the line 30-60 tighten it back up and you could see that the 60 degree angle of the traditional triangle matches exactly with the 60 degree angle of my adjustable triangle. So now if I wanted to make an angle for a roof pitch or for an elevation for a particular purpose, uh, I can do that. And vice versa, if I flip this uh, so that it is the 30 degree angle, uh, I could also do the same for my adjustable and now I have the exact same angle uh, for the adjustable as my traditional. Another nice thing about the adjustable triangle uh, is that it comes with uh, beveled and non-beveled edges. Now, why might that be important? So the one that I have is just a standard set square from Alvin. I'll link in the description below, but it comes with a beveled edge. So um, this one, which is an older drafting triangle uh, that I purchased a while ago, is a non-beveled edge. And so if I if I show you this side, I'm going to show a picture on the screen to show you a little better. As you can see, the edge is completely flush. Now, the issue with that is when you want to ink a drawing. Now, right now I'm using my my uh, lead, but if I wanted to ink, if I wanted to use a pen or a drafting pen for the purposes of inking a drawing, uh, the flushed edge is really no good. Uh, the reason for that is ink can bleed underneath the actual triangle, and then when I go to move the triangle around, it'll smudge. So. Uh, when you're drafting and inking something with a triangle, you want to make sure that you're using something with a beveled edge. Now the adjustable triangle has that. So if I lift this up, and again, it's going to be difficult to see, so I'll, I'll show up a picture. You can see that it has a beveled edge. The edge has an indentation in it so that the ink, I can move the tri I can ink it, then I can move the triangle away, and none of the ink has bled underneath the triangle. So when I move the triangle, none of the ink is going to smudge. Makes it very nice and useful for the purposes of inking as well. So the adjustable triangle not just functions as a normal drafting triangle, you can actually ink with it as well. Also what you can do if you don't happen to have a uh, adjustable triangle with a beveled edge or you just want to 
convert your normal triangle with a flushed edge into something that can be inked. Uh, a little hack that I show students uh, that, I, that I learned when I was in school is to simply just take a regular triangle. So this is the exact same triangle. These two are the exact same with the flushed edges. And all I did was I taped three pennies uh, underneath it. Okay, and the three pennies raise the actual triangle a little bit off the surface of the paper. And so now I can move it, I can ink and then move it away and none of the ink has bled underneath the triangle for the purposes of smudging. So a uh, very nice little hack that you can do and only costs you three cents. Now, one of the last things that uh, an adjustable triangle is really useful for is this the idea of slope or slope percentage and converting it into degrees very quickly with a calculator uh, for the purposes of drawing sections. So for landscape designers, landscape architects, this idea of slope or slope percentage um, is, is rise over run. So when you're doing a design, slope becomes very important for the purposes of ADA accessibility, water runoff, a variety of different applications in landscape purposes. And so when you're drawing something of a section of your design, uh, you have to calculate, okay, how steep is the landscape that I'm drawing? And then you wanna make sure that you're representing that accurately in section. Adjustable triangle can do that very quickly for you, uh, essentially using the arc tan function on a calculator, okay? Now, let's say that in my design, this is just a, a, a rough uh, idea, that I have a, a hillside that is very steep and I'm drawing a section of it. It's a 20% slope. So that's a rise of two over 10, okay, or 20%. And I'll make sure, if you can't necessarily see my writing, uh, to, to make sure that there's an image uh, on the side so that you can follow along uh, clearly. So. If I take my calculator and I plug in into the arc tan function, uh, a rise of two divided by a run of 10, that's a 20% slope, and I solve for that, arc tan is going to give me a degree, an angle of about 11 degrees. Okay, so now I can actually set my adjustable triangle to 11 degrees. Okay, I'm just gonna go to 11 degrees. I lock it. And so now, if I look at my slope, I have the bottom of my slope here, okay, maybe there's a little tree there, and then the top of my slope would be somewhere over here, put another tree there, and now I know that that 11 degree angle is going to show me a slope of 20%. Okay, so that's a very easy and quick way to draw very good, accurate sections without having to consistently measure on your scale rise and run. Just simply using the trigonometric function on your calculator in addition to this adjustable triangle. So you can see the adjustable triangle uh, is very useful for the purposes of drafting and for section drawing in landscape design uh, because it's really versatile. So, uh, it has a lot of applications. So again, practice with it. Um, you know, as you get the hang of it, you're gonna see that you're really not gonna wanna use any other triangle. If, if I had to actually say, all, all full disclosure, one issue that I have with the adjustable triangle, it, it will be this, it's big. Uh, it is kind of big and clunky. And so sometimes when you're drafting, uh, you do wanna reach for a smaller triangle just because you're really sort of in the weeds uh, doing small drafting uh, details. The, 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 the regular adjustable triangle can, can be quite large for those applications. But if there's any uh, deficiency or disadvantage to it, it's just that. Other than that, I really, really love the adjustable triangle and I'd suggest picking one up for your drafting toolkit. Okay, I'll see you at the next video.